this is Fritz Westover with Westover Vineyard Advising and your viticulturist at Virtual Viticulture Academy. And I'm in a vineyard today in the Texas Hill Country and I've been scouting the vineyard for pest and disease. And I've only been able to find one pest in this vineyard. And if you haven't heard of this pest, it's called grape berry moth. And it's a moth that comes out during the spring right after fruit set, mates and lays eggs right on the clusters. And the larva from those eggs will crawl through the berries and feed on those berries. And oftentimes those berries can cause a source point for rot. So come on down closer and I'll show you what to look for. If you're going through your vineyard and you see that you've got, you know, anywhere from pea size to um, verasian size berries, and you find a berry that's prematurely discolored, look closer because you might find that there's actually another berry attached to it. And when you have those berries attached, that's actually a sign that the larva was tunneling out and feeding on this berry. And then if I remove that, you can see it tunneled and burrowed into this other berry. And eventually what it will do is it will come out of this berry and it will pupate and then we'll start a new life cycle for that moth. But you can see all the frass in there that was left behind. Now again, one berry on a random cluster is not gonna cause any problems, but what we don't wanna do is have a large infestation and a lot of berries that get trapped in the cluster because again, they can become a source point for rot. So the best thing we can do is put up a pheromone trap to catch the male moths early in the spring. And when we see them emerging in the vineyard, we can put out our first application of an insect growth regulator or some kind of a preventional program that will stop both the, the larva from entering the berry, and if they do get into the berry, hopefully it will stop them from completing their life cycle. Usually one to two sprays a year is all that's needed, and I have more information on this at virtualviticultureacademy.com on some of my grower guides that you're welcome to take a look at.